Hi everyone, Michael Cappuccini here. Hope you're doing well. Finally, at last, I'm able to show you this new KISS book, KISS at 50. I've been wanting to show this to you for a few months, but it's been back order, just hard to get a copy of, but I finally got one. So this is KISS at 50. It's by Martin Popoff. It's a hardback book, so it's like a coffee table book. And uh, let's flip it over to take a look at the back here. See what it says. You one of the best. Pyro, stage blood, platform boots, pack stadiums. In Kiss at 50, veteran rock critic, Martin Popoff tackles the career of one of rock, rock's fully, uh, truly tiring acts through the lens of 50 career milestones. Studio albums are examined, as are anthemic singles and iconic live albums from the band's formation in New York City to the heights of the rock hierarchy. Popoff follows Kiss through the music, personnel changes, famous and infamous television appearances, and more. Kiss of 50 features interviews Popoff has conducted with key players and is generously illustrated with live concert and candid offstage photography and a generous selection of memorabilia. In addition, Popoff offers a complete discography and a gatefold timeline tracing 50 band milestones, the resulting Retrospective is a stunning tribute to these true rock and roll innovators. And there's a case on the back. So this book, you can see the price here. Full price in the U.S. is $40, right? Um, and they're, they're the prices for Canada and the U.K. But if you buy it on Amazon, which I'll include a link below, you can save yourself some money. So click that link below uh, and get it for less on Amazon. So let's open it up. Take a look inside. I, I received a digital copy of this book uh, a few months back, so I got a chance to look at that, but now we're looking at it, you know, in print. The design is very nice, you know, it's, and the pages, obviously you can't tell through a video, but the pages are nice and thick and have a gloss, glossy finish to them. So you can see it's written up, or it's broken up into parts. Kiss Major, right? It's got all this stuff. Kiss Minor. MTV, Hair, Metal, and Kiss. Reunion. And Legacy. There you are. So it's about, um, about 200 pages. So it's not really long, but it's not short either. This was an introduction some signed albums pictured there at uh, magazine covers. <clears throat> yeah, the design is very cool. It's definitely well done. And that's important, right? And we're talking about a band here uh, that I've been a fan of for decades. And uh, they're all about, I mean, it's not just the substance of the music, but it is about the visual representation of the band, right? So. When you buy a book about Kiss, you want it to be just as awesome visually as they are. Now, one thing to keep in mind here <clears throat> is these uh, sections, if you will, are pretty short. Right? We're talking about like one page. See you in your dreams, one page. You know, recording Kiss, that's two page, but then this is one page. Talk about Gene's interview on Mike Douglas. So a lot of these sections of the book are very brief. I mean, we're talking one to two pages max. For example, they're talking about the formation of the Kiss Army here. And I mean, really, if you didn't have all the pictures and stuff, this would be one page. So it's very much an overview. So that's something I noticed about this book is that, yes, it covers the entirety of the band's career, but it does so uh, in a very light way, kind of a superficial way, if you will. I don't mean to, you know, demean it, but we're not talking about a deep dive here into history by any means. Plus, uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I read somewhere <clears throat> that Martin is actually not the biggest Kiss fan, so that's something to keep in mind, too. You know, this wasn't written by uh, someone who is just a diehard Kiss fan through and through, so he's... 
you know, it, it's kind of an opportunistic book in a way because it's obviously the end of the road tour. So to release this now during the band's 50th anniversary and their final tour ever is obviously uh, a sales tactic, right? I mean, they're releasing this to make money. That's the whole point. Um, it's not necessarily a labor of love. However, you know, the visual representation of the book <clears throat> is quite beautiful. But I just want to let you know, like, what you're getting into here, right? It's not like I wrote this book or some other fan. Um, so I ha actually hadn't heard of Martin prior to this book. But as you saw, he is a rock journalist, so some people know him. I've heard good things about him. So if you know him, I guess that can uh, help convince you to buy this book, potentially. <clears throat> and so you can see that all the big stuff is covered. I mean, you got um, you know, Eric Carr's first show with Kiss, um, Creatures of the Night, you know, makeup coming off. Oh, here's that gatefold they were talking about. I think. Maybe not. But this definitely feels like a poster. Yeah, so this is just... <clears throat> I mean, frankly, this is just kind of like a discography. But I guess it's more than that. It also is key moments in the band's history. It's funny they call it a gatefold, because a gatefold really should open, you know, from the left and the right, kind of like a gate. This is not really a gatefold. <laughs> it's like a half gatefold. Um, but anyway... You know, Kiss Alive Goes Gold, stuff like that. So, key moments in the band's history. Yeah, it's odd that they would refer to this as a gatefold. It's just really a folded sheet. Yeah, because a gatefold, like I said, would open here and here. Ah, well. What are you going to do? <clears throat> So one thing I have to point out that I'm not necessarily a fan of here is so they're just using song titles randomly throughout the book um, to, you know, basically name a chapter. But it doesn't really make sense. Like, turn on the night to reference Animalize and Mark St. John? Huh? If you're a hardcore Kiss fan like me, you're like, what the hell is this? Because Turn on the Nights from Crazy Nights, it doesn't make any sense to have that in reference to Mark St. John or Animalize, uh, an album that came out before Crazy Nights. So that seems like a little disconnected. And I guess it's kind of evidence of the fact that the author isn't a Kiss fan. Because um, if he was, this wouldn't, this wouldn't be here. Now, see, this makes sense. Trial by Fire. That's actually on the album. <clears throat> yeah, like, Firehouse, Hot in the Shade. What the hell? I mean, okay, Firehouse is on the tour, but it still doesn't make any sense. Like, to me, Coming Home would have made more sense for... Uh, MTV Unplugged, Bang Bang You for Revenge, what the hell? There's a lot of confusion here. So even though this is nice, when you kind of look beneath the surface, you, you see the issues here. Any way you want it, and then and for the, and MTV Unplugged, I don't know about that. And when they talk about uh, quotes that Martin did with people for this book, you know, there's no section devoted to in-depth interviews or anything like that. I mean, there might be quotes throughout, but there's nothing, you know, deep dive when it comes to interviews. Also, something to point out is this book is not an official KISS book, as you can tell by the cover with that fake KISS logo. 
Um, the band did not authorize this. Not that that means much, but, um, you know, if you're expecting to have in-depth thoughts from Gene and Paul, you know, new in-depth thoughts from Gene and Paul about the band's 50th year, end of the road tour, all that stuff, looking back, all that, it's, you're not going to get that here, all right? You're really just getting, um, pretty much, I would compare this to a magazine that you, we've seen a bunch of these magazines come out lately, right, because of Kiss being on their last tour, uh, different magazines from publishers, just about the band's history and all that. That's exactly what this is. This is a magazine. It's just a magazine in book form. Um, uh, you could even compare it to a program that you would get on tour. Although I would argue that the program that you would get on tour would be more factual in nature. It would obviously be from the band, so it would look better, feature quotes from the band and all that good stuff. So yeah, and here's the just compilations, discography, <clears throat> solo albums, index, all that jazz. And that is all. So that is Kiss at 50. So do I recommend this book? Um, I mean, it's $40, right? We're not talking about something that's cheap here. So I would, <clears throat> I can't say I'd recommend paying full price for this, uh, just considering it's kind of a glorified magazine. Uh, but hey, if you're a hardcore Kiss fan like me and you're just looking for a way to celebrate the band's 50th anniversary and the end of the road tour, you know, looking back and just being nostalgic and enjoying those highlights from the band's career, sure, this is a good way to do that. Just go into it knowing that, as you can tell here, it's not an official Kiss product. Um, there are a variety of confusing decisions when it comes to the way it's laid out, um, you know, where song titles don't uh, align with albums and eras and things like that. And then also that each section is very, very uh, superficial, meaning there's no deep dive into any subject at all. Uh, <clears throat> when they put this together, really, it's a case of quantity over quality. So even though it's only 200 pages in length, um, none of those pages are comprehensive. It's all very uh, much an overview of the band's history. So keep that in mind. And uh, if you are interested in buying a copy, click the link below and you can uh, check it out on Amazon, save yourself some money. And let me know, what are your thoughts of this book? Anyone who already owns it, comment below. Do you like it? Why don't you like it? Uh, what are your thoughts? And are you going to be at the final shows at Madison Square Garden? I'll be there night number one on Friday, um, and then uh, watching the second show from home that Saturday. But how about you? What Will you see me uh, at the arena? Will I see you? Uh, if so, come up and say hello. But uh, comment down below, share your thoughts, and thanks for tuning in. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and visit me at michaelcavaccini.com for more great content. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon, and I hope to see you on the End of the Road Tour. Bye.